These chairs are made from plastic thread, seemingly endless lines woven into a sturdy piece of furniture. What's unusual is that they come out of a printer. Dirk van der Koy is the man behind the idea. It's not just the creation of new forms that interests the Dutch designer. For me, it's always about the material and the structure that uh, should be new and should be interesting. Um, and, and this is actually what, what I want to do as a designer. At an old industrial site 30 kilometers from Amsterdam, van der Koei has a workshop, studio and showroom under one roof. His company uses robotics technology to print all its furniture. This robotic arm was once used in the auto industry. During his studies, van der Koei spent 18 months adapting it until his first chair was ready. The first half year I was really amazed and so happy that it succeeded. And so nice that the chair has always been made in a, in a perfect speed without my control. That's a kind of a relief. It works by applying layer after layer of liquid plastic. It takes up to three hours until a chair is ready. The raw material is plastic particles. They come from old shredded refrigerators. It, it just makes me feel better. And this is not like, I'm, I'm not the, the guy that is completely uh, not harmful to the environment because I drive a car. Uh, I wore my house on gas, I think. Um, but it's, I think it's, if, it, if it could be done, uh, then it's always nicer to do it from reclaimed materials. His creations cost between 300 and 2,000 euros. Museums all over the world are interested in his furniture. His works have been displayed in New York, London, and Berlin. Other Dutch designers are also experimenting with the 3D printing process. Joris Larman, for example, has designed a chair that is made of plastic puzzle pieces, all made with a printer. The designer also works with other materials. His special robots can print metal. The first piece of furniture made with this technique is the dragon bench. It is a way to see way more faster in real the thing you envisionized. And this way designing is more from the screen into the, the, into the real. Um, but it's also when you had the first one made, you could also easily make more. Everybody could start up their own little company with traditional 3D printing. In conventional furniture production, plastic resin is poured into a metal mold. All pieces created in this process are identical. But that's not how Dirk van der Koei does it. Each piece of his furniture is unique. The designer can alter the plans at any time on the computer. A program translates them into digital data that can be read and implemented by the robot. But every detail counts. You cannot just cross lines or you cannot, you have to consider that the lines, every mistake you make is going to be ugly smudge in the chair. So yeah, you have to guide the lines perfectly. 3D technology is not just a means of production, but also a means of inspiration for the 30 year old. Well, a, a little house we would certainly want to, to create and uh, not with typical 3D printing, but adapting the technique in that way that is actually logical that you do it, that you, you create a house with this technique. No, I should not tell more. Yeah. <laughs> He's not interested in standardized production. Imperfections are an integral part of Dirk van der Koei's designs.